Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. Today I have my day one haul from SAS. So I went to all of the stores that I have around me. I don't live in a large area, so there's not like a whole bunch of stuff. I don't live in like a major city. People talking about, Shonda Z was talking about how she went to eight stores and I was like, dang, um, I would have to travel many, many hours to go to that many stores. So anyway, uh, I have my haul. I went to the stores that were near me. I do have three items that I picked up the weekend before because they had a fine fragrance mist sale. We're just going to get into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Let me know what you picked up and what you think of the deals that I got. I went a little over budget. My I was ideally only going to spend $100. I ended up spending $165 altogether with tax, but that's because I found some things that I'm going to give as gifts. So I was, I was pretty close to my $100 budget, but buying some gifts took me over. So the first store I went to, they, they put tissue paper in and everything. It was so cute. They actually gave me two bags, but I kind of combined it into one just because it was easier to carry and store. So yes, I have tissue paper. My other store, I have tissue paper in there too because they gave me tissue paper in both bags. So my total at the first store with my $10 coupon, I only got one 10 off of 40. My mom did not get one this go around. Checked her rewards and she didn't have one there either. But it's interesting because I have my email that's associated with my rewards account and my account at Bath and Body Works. And it does not get emails. Like I have signed up for emails. I do not get any emails from that at all other than just like my emails from you know, you made a purchase and here's your receipt and all of that. I don't get anything else. So I started, I requested to get emails from my other email account and I've been getting coupons there, but it is not associated with my rewards account at all. But they sent me a, a coupon to that email and it's the same coupon as the one they send in the mail. I do not understand how Bath and Body Works does coupons. I don't really get how they connected those two things together or why they never send me coupons or emails to the one that, that I originally signed up to. I have no idea. So anyway, I spent $48 here. We're gonna start with the candle that I found for 75% off. They had three of these single wick, like the tester candles for in-store. This is Flower Child, which is White Narcissus. Cashmere Musk's Sweet Cedarwood. I had wanted to get this in a three wick, but I just never did because I had other candles that were a little higher on my priority list. I think this smells really nice and I can't wait to burn in this. And for, it was like $3 something, $3.27 with my 10 off. Also on the 75% off table were these Moxie gummies. And these are melatonin, which they're five milligrams melatonin for two. I thought I would try them and I haven't tried them before. These do expire in November. They were $18.95 originally. And these came out to $3.89. I wanted to kind of get an idea of what they are like because they do have biotin and I might put in an order at some point, but I don't want to pay, I don't want to pay shipping for Moxie stuff. Then I found the three for $7 just before I got to the register and I picked up three items on that because they had this one thing that I tried to order a couple different times during the mini sales. They were always sold out or they canceled that part of my order. It is Tutti Fruity Candy, the Happy Easter lip flavor burst lip gloss. Very excited to get this. Then I also picked up a Coco Paradise hand cream. I wasn't really sure what else I wanted to get. I didn't want to get any more lip glosses because I already got Mango Magti and the Pineapple one and Passion Fruit, like I have all of them at this point. These ended up being $1.87, I think. No, $1.91 and $1.92. And then the third thing I got was Among the Clouds, the shower gel. This was the only thing they had in Among the Clouds. In the minis, I would have probably purchased the lotion too for that price instead of this hand cream, but that's what I got for the, th the three for seven. Those things weren't really on my wish list or like my list of things to get, but they were kind of adjacent. I had been interested in many of those things, so I didn't feel bad that they weren't like written down on my actual list, even though I did go over a little bit. Then this is what really just started shooting my budget. They had the perfumes. They had several of this perfume. Gingham 
and this was originally $49.90. This is, you know, I don't remember which version of the bottle I have. If I have the blue one or if I have the clear one, I need to, to go look at my parents when I get there. Anyway, this was like $12.00. Actually, it was 1024 with my coupon. I'm going to, I got this to give as a gift because perfumes as a gift for that price, excellent price. So that's the first thing that took me over. That's part of the $65 that I went over. Now we're into the things that I actually was kind of looking for. First up is Sun Blooms and Suede. I've already gone through, you're going to see in my empties coming up. I finished an entire bottle of this already and I have I did buy a backup but for $3.95 I thought you know what I don't know if they'll bring it back I'm gonna get that and I also got the body care that goes with it so I picked up two of the creams and then I also picked up the shower gel because I love the set it's just so comforting and just ew this one has goo on it I didn't I hate the bins they always have goo and stuff on them this just smells so nice it's slightly warm, but it's very sweet and just slightly musky, I guess. It is white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. It's so good. I, I was, this was one of the things I was really hoping to pick up. They were all $3.95, so with that discount, they ended up being $3.24. Not too bad. Final things that I picked up at this first store was something that I thought might be in store but I wasn't quite sure if it was and if it did come in and I could smell it then I was going to get it but if it remained an online exclusive I wasn't going to put in a blind buy order but that is fresh jungle rain the notes on this are rain kissed palms amazon dragon fruit and misty breeze I smelled this in store and I was like I really like this it's a much sweeter type of a scent than I thought it was going to be it's slightly tropical I don't know what I'm trying to smell at this point it's I want to say it almost smells like it has some pineapple in it maybe that's the dragon fruit anyway I really liked this and since I could I picked up both the shower gel and the lotion as well as the mist if I find a cream I would pick up a cream too but I was really I was happy to find it and those were also in that 324 range because they were 395 without the coupon Moving on to my second store, they had these behind the counter. I was so excited, these were 50% off. I didn't talk about this, but it is one thing that I had been looking at. I got the one they did last fall, and I, I love hot pink. So when I saw this, I was like, I, I really wanna get that. I was really hoping that they would have it in store because it wasn't available for Bopis when I looked Friday night. This ended up being nine something, 8.97, 8.97 for this, so not too bad. The most expensive item I got at this second store was this rose, and this is the Brush and Go Fragrance Gel. I did not realize how expensive this was. This was $24.50 originally, so it was $12.25. I was a little shocked at how expensive it was, but you know, for a perfume, I was going to try to pick up any perfumes that I found that I didn't have, and I didn't have the rose one. Then I picked up this. This was an impulse buy. But I thought I would try it. It is the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower, and it is the lightweight spray body moisturizer. I thought this would be just kind of interesting to try. I've been getting into spray sunscreens lately, so I thought this would be interesting because it's something completely different. I haven't tried it. It was the only scent that they had. I probably would have picked it up in Waikiki Beach Coconut instead, but they didn't have that. This store also had another online exclusive in the coconut pineapple. I picked it up because I, I wanted the packaging because now I have the entire set and it's so pretty. I love co pineapple coconut. I do have, I bought two of them last year. I didn't need a shower gel, but some lady was nice enough that was next to me. The associate was like, well, what are you looking at? I said, well, I, I think I see coconut pineapple and the gal handed it to me. So I, I ended up getting it. They were 3.95, so not too bad. I didn't see any creams or lotions in this and I would really like a cream or a lotion still. So if I see those for $3.95, I will probably pick them up. But once again, I don't want to put in an online order necessarily. Then I picked up one of these. This is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise and this is the body cream. I realized the only thing I have in Pink Pineapple Sunrise is the body butter and the fragrance mist and I have the scrub. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to get a set of it if I find a cream, if I find a lotion, if I find a shower gel, I'm going to pick up what I can because I I don't have any of it. And I thought I did, but when I looked at my inventory, I was like, I didn't get any last year and I really like the packaging this year. This is very cute, very pink. 
So I picked that up. Then I picked up a Hello Beautiful because I was talking to one of my favorite baristas at my local coffee shop and she asked what I was doing. I was like, oh, I'm going to Bath and Body Works. She said, oh, are they having a sale? And I said, yeah, they're doing 75% off. And she's like, oh, I need to go. And I asked her what her favorite scent was. And she said, hello, beautiful. And this at our store in town, didn't they didn't have any of the lotions. And she said she liked the lotion. So when I saw this at the store that was in a town over, I was like, I'm going to I'm going to go get it. So yes, picked up Hello Beautiful for her. It, it's not for me. It's another gift. I picked up gifts like I'm very proud of myself. And then I saw these and I went, ah! I just knew I had to get them. These ended up being these are uh, 233. This is part of that three for seven. <sighs> Rainbow Candy Swirl. I loved this set so much. I really wish they would put this out in full size body care this next year. That would be amazing. I I loved it so I was very excited it's you know has like slightly mint scent to it but it's also sweet and candy like which is my favorite type of scents obviously so picked those up I was very excited to see those wish they had like the creams or the sprays I would have probably picked up those too final store we have the Christmas they didn't put the tissue paper in there that's from the second bag from the first store it's interesting because my stores were talking about how they didn't get any sass bags in and they didn't know what was going on and they were running out of the regular bags so they're bringing out the christmas bags that they had the holiday bags that were in the back which i thought was interesting so who knows anyway th what i found at this store i was very shocked they had several of these and i went in the afternoon like it was probably at least four o'clock by the time i got to the third store this is among the clouds the associate and i talked about like what a great gift this would be so this one let me grab my receipt. This was 12 something? 12.49. 12.49 for a perfume. Such a good price. And they also had one Dream Bright left. Yes, it does have a little damage here from where the, somebody pulled it off. But this one was 14.87. I I got three perfumes to give as gifts. I was very excited about that. Could not believe that I found those for that price. Then I found my Pink Pineapple Sunrise shower gel so i have one set of this i usually go through body washes or shower gels about half is that like it takes me two bottles of lotion to go through one of these so i probably should pick up another one but i probably have lotions that i can mix with it anyway i just i was glad to finally have a complete set of that and then i found scrubs if you know me you know that i love the sand and sea salt scrub and these were $3.95. They only had the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. But for $3.95 instead of $17.95, I got some of them when they were $5.95. I was very excited about that price. But I picked up four of them because they had four. I saw three in one bin and then I saw a fourth in another bin. So I, I bought them all. Did I need to spend $16 on scrubs? No. But I'm very happy that I did. Then these guys were $0.97. Cents. They were half price. This is the pocket back in Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I got two for my good friend because she loves this scent. And I got her like the little squirrel lanyard and I got picked up these for her. She also loves Firecracker Pop, but those I didn't see on sale. And then I picked up one for myself because I don't have, I thought this would be a nice one for the summer for myself. So I picked up that, more gifts, just stocking up being prepared. And the last thing that I picked up at my third store, they had one of these left. It is the flower cart. I was so excited that they had the flower cart. It was half price. So it was $15, just under 15. It was $29.95. I did not see the greenhouse anywhere, but that is another one that if I found it, I would want to pick it up. I just thought, oh, it's so pretty. I love the little flowers with the little jewels on it and it lights up. All of the jewels are supposed to light up very excited about that. I think this must have been the display one because the prongs are exposed. Rounding out this haul are the three fragrance mists that I purchased the weekend before when they were doing, I think it was $5.75 or $5.95 for all of the fine fragrance mists. And I was very excited because I knew I had heard that these were not going to be on sale. So I decided to pick them up when I could. I picked up two of the summer since I debated about Sunset Glow, it's not my favorite. I felt like this year's is more cherry forward instead of more caramel and vanilla forward. And I love the cherry, like that's, I wanted it more cherry forward, but did I need it? No, so I didn't get it. Well, will I get it if it goes on sale again? Maybe, maybe, you never know. You know, I have a problem. 
So I picked up Poolside Cabana. This is crisp hair, warm breeze, and solar sandalwood. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I've been spraying this all over myself uh, quite a few times this past week. It's tart and juicy and slightly sweet, just a little bit of sweet. It's so refreshing. I really like how refreshing it is, so I was very excited about that one. I was also excited to get the Sparkling Orange Spritz, and this is Sunkissed Mandarin, Bubbly Prosecco, and Citrus Soda. I don't always think that things smell effervescent or bubbly. A lot of times people are like, oh, it's so fizzy, and I'm, I never get that. This one is the closest to a fizzy that I actually smell like the fizz in it. It's really nice. It's kind of like, I would say like an orange Fanta that's slightly going flat. Like it's not fresh out of the just popped open. It's, it's sat for a little bit and so it's not quite as bubbly anymore. And then of course I had to get a, another firecracker pop. I would like to get another set of this because I just finished a set last month and not the not the mist. I didn't go through the mist, but I just wanted this pretty packaging because look at that cap and everything. It's so cute. So I knew these wouldn't be on sale. That's why I got them the weekend before. So now please let me know what you got from Bath and Body Works, what you have, what treasures you found or what deals you found, what you're still hoping to find. If you're going to be traveling anywhere during the sale time, if you're going to stop in, of course I'm going to stop in. Anytime I come, I see a Bath and Body Works, I make a detour if I if I have time and they're open. I, I have a problem. Like I said, I have a problem. Anyway, let me know how you're doing as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic June. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.